Hello, welcome to Saturn Fairy Book Reviews. As usual, I'm Tina. Today I'm doing a book review of Devils Kills Devils, which is a book by Johnny Compton. This is a book coming up September 24th, 2024. It's a horror book from Tor Nightfire. I received this book from Neck Alley in exchange for a fair review. This book is weird. <laughs> if you've watched my reviews for a while now, you'll know that I have a on again, off again relationship with Tor Nightfire. I find their stuff either really resonates with me and I love it, or I am not super into it. That being said, this is a good book that a fan of a particular type of supernatural monster will really enjoy. Did I really enjoy it? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so what is it about? When all hell breaks loose, you need a devil on your side. Serena has been watched over by a guardian angel her entire life. She calls him Angelo and keeps him a secret, but secrets can't stay buried forever. When Angelo murders someone she loves, Serena begins to see what's really been lurking in the shadows surrounding her, and she will have to embrace the evil within if she hopes to make it out alive. So, the length of this blurb is why when I did my TBR video a few weeks back, I couldn't remember what the book was about. <laughs> this blurb says almost like next to nothing, which is fine. I love next to nothing blurbs. In fact, they're my favorite. I'm the kind of person that when I see a movie trailer, I want it to be like 20 seconds long. I don't want a three minute movie trailer that shows you all the key highlights of the movie because my brain for some reason will remember those parts. And so when I'm watching the movie, even if it's six months later, I will remember that scene from the trailer and be like, oh, this is in the climax. The the only movie that managed to, to, you know, not do this to me was Jurassic World, the second one, whatever, Jurassic World, the heck was the second one called? Fallen Kingdom or something? So that one, they showed the kind of lava and stuff like that and the dinosaurs all getting destroyed um, in the trailer and I was like, that has to be the climax. There's no way it's not. And it wasn't, spoiler alert. <laughs> so that's the only movie that I haven't actually suffered this from. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about movie trailers. I'm here to talk about this book, which starts off really interesting. I was really into it into about 40% when the concept morphs or reveals itself into being something I'm just not super into trope and or paranormal wise. I just, I used to love them when I was younger. I was obsessed with one of the movies when I was younger. I just, I don't know, I've kind of not grown out of it. I don't think you can grow out of something like that. I just, my interests have moved on to different things. It's vampires. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not into vampires anymore, I guess. And this story, while it does introduce a new twist to them, didn't do enough for them to reinvigorate me to the concept. This could be because the latter half of the novel has plot lines that are kind of all over the place as they bring in a whole bunch of supernatural aspects that didn't feel super cohesive. I will say though, the climax is very exciting and fun, but the 30% like leading up to that, I found, I, I found myself skimming. I will admit I skimmed a bit because I was like, okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the mystery at the start, you know, what I said about vampires doesn't really change anything in that regard as it's not really a spoiler for the story. It's just kind of, they come up later. This, the mystery is fascinating. You aren't really sure why Angelo did what he did or what he is kind of what his deal is overall so a lot of the story you're kind of wondering because you get kind of different perspectives on him and you kind of get a backstory on him where you're like oh okay I think I know what this is and then it goes in a different way so that was really well done the lore in this book too is also very fascinating it's very detailed if you like sorry I keep looking because my dog's like making a weird noise <laughs> <laughs> if you like vampires, I think you'll really like this because it does bring in new dimensions to them and it does add some really cool elements. Like, it, it's it's really well done in that way. It just was wrapped up in far too much meandering. <laughs> the story moves at a languid, almost molasses-like pace that was sometimes hard to get through. And though those sections were punctuated with scenes of intense violence that are gory, exciting, and go in interesting directions, we just needed some trimming of the internal monologue of all the characters. <laughs> just some trimming. Like there was some parts where like this woman, she's going on and on and on about her dead son. And you're just like, I know, lady, I know. I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but let's go. <laughs> I also did have some trouble connecting with the main character, Sarita. Her grief, which should have been palpable, just didn't feel there for me. I also couldn't understand... Like, I could understand why her mother-in-law felt the way she did about her at times, because Serena is a little bit self-absorbed. <laughs> Hera had a far more interesting perspective, as did Sela, the villain, than Serena. But unfortunately, we get mostly Serena. But 
I mean, overall, though, I think, yeah, if you love vampires, if you love vampires, you'll probably really like this because it is really cool. If you don't mind kind of a slower kind of, not stream of consciousness, but just like lots of internal thoughts about characters, lots of kind of backstory kind of info dumps, uh, you'll probably like this as well. Not my favorite book of the year. Don't think it's a terrible book. Actually, I actually think it's a really good book. It just wasn't for me. If it hadn't been vampires, if it had been something else, I might have been more into it. But yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. Vampires just aren't my thing anymore. Even though my daughter is named after a vampire queen. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you.